Hey, everybody, it's Christopher Small, the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Today, I wanna to talk to you about why fancy estate planning binders are a distraction. Uh, before I get to that though, I wanna remind you, if you have questions about this or anything else related to estate planning or probate, and you wanna talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. Okay, I was, uh, so today's Thursday, you probably aren't listening or watching this on a Thursday, but it actually is Thursday. And Mondays and Thursdays are the days that we do all of our estate planning signings uh, uh, for the firm. The reason we do that is because everybody works from home on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. So we need witnesses, we need notaries, we need to print stuff and blah, blah, blah. Mondays and Thursdays. So today we did a bunch of, of signings and actually uh, do in-person meetings on Thursdays as well. I had a client come, client, clients come in that are doing some work on their plan. They're updating their plan. They did not create their original plan with me. Their original plan was made with somebody else. Um, I, they're, I'm sure they're fine, uh, but they didn't go back to them. So they're coming to me. But, uh, but anyway, they brought their binder in so I could look at it. And the binder is like six inches thick. And it's all embossed and it's all like this, uh, you know, like pleather. You know, it's all like sort of fancy. And um, what's funny is they came to me because they don't know what's in their binder. After I looked through the binder, I told them, there's a bunch of stuff in here you don't need. And then I showed them what my binders look like. My binders that I give to my clients that hold their estate planning documents are Office Depot, black, half inch or one inch, three ring binders, basic, right? Super duper basic. And I've always done it that way. I've never done fancy binders and I've never had anyone complain about it. I've never really had any, anyone even say anything about it and, and for a couple of reasons, but, but the main reason I don't do it is because those binders are just a distraction. I don't need to show you something fancy at the end to help convince you that you've had a good experience. I just wanna give you a good experience the whole time. Uh, the, and, and part of that experience is you know setting you up for success. There's no reason to try to charge you extra to give you a fancy binder that you are going to take from my office and stick into a filing cabinet uh, or some other place and forget about you know until you need them. So there's no reason to be fancy. There's no reason to give you a big, huge, thick stack of documents that you don't need, that you can't figure out, that you can't navigate. So, you know, when people talk about the fancy binder, when attorneys talk about the fancy binder, um, and some do, what they're really trying to do is distract you from some other part of the experience. That's nine times out of, out of 10. They're going to, to try to convince you that that's why their stuff is so expensive, why you need to pay so much for their work. Now, we're not cheap, okay? We are far from cheap, but what we provide and what we get paid for is the value that we give our clients, right? Not some fancy binder. So forget the binder, okay? Distraction from, from doing the actual work, from, from getting and having great communication, and from overall just having a, a good experience. So I uh, just wanted to kind of rant on that. There's not really a lot of information in here necessarily, but you don't need the fancy binder, okay? And um, um, not to say that if somebody gives you a, a fancy binder, they're not great. I'm sure they're just wonderful and, and, and all that kind of thing, all that stuff. But we don't do that. You don't need it. I'm not trying to upcharge you for that. And um, I try to d demonstrate value and provide a great service in other ways. So that's it. Don't get the binder, all right? Um, uh, as always, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you know someone needs to hear it, please share it with them. If you have a question or comment, please leave it. And if you wanna talk about anything else related to estate planning or probate, and you wanna talk with us over the phone for free, you can do so by going to cmslawfirm.com. All right, that's it for today. As always, I am Christopher Small. I am the owner of CMS Law Firm. We do estate planning, we do probate, we do it well. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you, and I will talk to you again soon. See ya.